I'm going to do a bit of a demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a chat about who does, who uses Apple Script for deploying out uh, like a user facing thing that they have to click and, and a thing happens. And what's the thing that sucks about Apple Script is when it's doing a thing, it doesn't tell you what it's doing. It just sits there and just does nothing. So does anyone realize you can actually make an Apple Script app in Xcode and you can make it look all nice and pretty? So that's what I do and that's what I'll show you. Um, so if I get uh, quick time going very, very quickly, new screen recording, go like that, click over there. All right, here we go, we're off and resting. Maybe. So what I've got here is I just sort of whip this up very, very quickly. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this is about as basic as you can get, and it just sort of gives an idea, a general idea of, of uh, what you might be able to do um, with, uh, with you know, a bit of Apple Script and uh, an Xcode. So it's literally just new project, you select Apple Script, it gives you that you know, window, and I've put a button there, and I've put a progress bar. Uh, so the actual code behind that at the moment, if we have a look, uh, all we do is we say we make a property for the progress bar and a property for the button. And where'd the window go? Oh, it's down there. So, yeah. So, same thing. You know, we grab our button and we tell it to click on the thing, which is in a big list of stuff. Um, The important thing to do is, so your, your progress, you know, your, your method that you want to point to, you give it this sender. Uh, the point your progress bar to a, uh, the, the property, and then you can set the values on that. By default, progress bar has 100 increments. You can make that as many as you want. You can make it five, or you can make it 5,000. Uh, and we're just um, going to increment the progress of it. And what I'll do is I'll just take this little block here and I'll place that up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the progress as by value to zero and then for one to a hundred, hundred, not one to a comment, one to a hundred we're going to increment it until it's ended. And the good thing about this is you can, it's all standard Apple script that we all know and love. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, did I say love? <laughs> Sorry. It's a standard Apple script that we all know. Um, <laughs> uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, users threaded animation to true. Uh, what that lets us do is it lets us actually operate on the progress bar. <laughs> Uh, it will operate, it will do its thing in the background, and we can continue doing other things. So we can do something like tell the progress bar to start showing something, it'll start animating, and then we can step through our script. And as we're stepping through our script, at certain points we can then say increment, you know, increment by another point, or by another point, or to a certain point. Uh, so you can do it, say so at the moment I'm doing an, an increment by one, you could also do a set double value to 50, if you wanted to say go to 50%. So this is really good if you've got a long Apple script that's going, you know, doing a lot of things and you want to give some kind of feedback to the user. Uh, it's a really good way just to build a, an app and you can have a, I've got uh, a couple that I've got, um, you know, a display little log window, you just keep that up to date, it shows you what it's doing. And it just means that, you know, when you've got these scripts that the users get, they click on it and then it sits there for five minutes and they don't know what's going on and, you know, you just, Give them a bit of an update. So let us hope that this yields. That's a good sign. Let's see what happens if I run it. We get a progress bar. Yay!
Pray to the Jehovah <laughs> gods. That worked really well. And I can keep pushing it again and again. <laughs> it's very satisfying. So, for something that I knocked up in five minutes and I was like, how do I do this again? That's all right. So, yeah, so very basically, yeah, I'd, I'd suggest, you know, put all your Apple scripts in, in Xcode. It's, it's, you know, it's easy. One minute 49 left. I'm done. Thank, Thank you very you. much.